Welcome to the Word Podcast. The Lord God has given us His Word. Let us learn it. Let us live it. Let us rejoice in it. Spread the Word. Blessings, everyone. This is Dale. Thank you so much for joining with me today on the Word Podcast. Uh, we're going to continue to look through First uh, Thessalonians, and we're going to go to the second chapter right now. First Thessalonians, just real brief time together today. And look at the seventeenth verse. You remember what Paul has been saying uh, to the folks? How he had been encouraging them, okay, about how they had turned away from idols to serve the true God. How they literally joined in with the followers who were down in Judea because they were suffering also uh, because of their faith. In verse seventeen, he says this: "But we, brethren." being taken from you for a short time in presence, not in heart, endeavored the more abundantly to see your face with great desire. If you remember what we saw over in the book of Acts, Paul was with them uh, for three Sabbaths, and then he was literally run out of town. He was not with them but a matter of a few weeks. And what he's saying now is, uh, you know, I'm still with you in heart. You know, we're separated from presence. We haven't seen each other for a short time. And he says, I've endeavored to come to see you. I love this little phrase, endeavored more abundantly to see your face with great desire. He wanted to see them face to face. He wanted to be with them. But something had happened. Well, he tells us what it is in verse 18. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. So he's showing them and he's revealing to us that he had tried on numerous occasions more than once and more than twice to come to them. But Satan hindered them. Now, we don't know how Satan hindered him and hindered the entourage. We don't know exactly what occurred. But something had happened that kept him from coming back. Whether it's just a threat of death if he showed his face in town, which was very, very real. Okay. Or other things we don't know, but something was hindering. Well, he wants to encourage them. So in closing out the chapter, verse 19, he says this, For what is our hope, or joy, or crown of rejoicing, are not even ye in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ at his coming? So what is he saying? He said, you know, what is it that brings joy to us? What is it, you know, that uh, we are so excited about? He says it's literally you... At his coming. So let me go read this from the New uh, American Standard. It says this For who is our hope or joy or crown of exaltation? Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus at his coming? Then the last verse For you are our glory and joy. So uh, Paul was communicating so many things to them right here about what had occurred in their life, what was happening, the fact that he wanted to see them face to face, that they were what was bringing joy and glory to his life. And that's an interesting little thing, because uh, if we were to say that type of thing today, a lot of times people would look at us and say, well, that's a rather... Uh, you know, personal kind of thing to say, or a, even braggadocious type of thing to say. No, no, what he was saying in the midst of all this is the fact that you are the one, you are the one by which uh, we receive the glory of the Most High God because of what has occurred in your life. And I, I love this little phrase in verse 19. Is it not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus at his coming? What he was hoping for, what his joy is, what his crown of exaltation was, was them and the fact that they would be with all believers when the Lord Jesus Christ returns. Remember how I said in the previous episodes that at the end, of just about every one of the chapters, we see some reference in some form of the Lord Jesus Christ coming again. And here it is. Paul said, you know, what is our hope? What is our joy? What is our crown of exaltation? It is you. You are that. You are the hope. You are the joy. You are the crown of exaltation. We hope in the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, but we, we rejoice because of what he has done in your life and the very fact that you will be present with us when he returns. You know, that really is a, a, an amazing way that we are to view one another and to see one another as the body of Christ. May we do so. Again, I'm Dale. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.